it's a game of give and take. Good morning, everyone. That was so smooth. It was almost like I planned it. Let me just pause this before the next song comes on and then it looks majorly unsmooth. It's actually not morning. It is 1.57, so it's uh, afternoon now. We've had a bit of a slow morning this morning because we got back so late last night and I almost felt hungover even though I didn't drink. By the way, my chest is red because I make my showers really hot. <laughs> I need a moisturizer. Where is it? I'm gonna use my Glam Glow. I'm using the shade Sun Glow. It was the only shade I bought with me actually and it's just my favorite shade even though it's the darkest one. I really just should get rid of this thing though but I just never get rid of them. I don't know why. I always like to <laughs> take it off that. Anyway, I love this stuff. It's so good. I put on a bit of this last night, the Clarins Tan Drops, which are amazing. I literally cannot be without them. Unreal. And now I'm just gonna give my skin a bit of a glue. Today we are going for lunch. Oh my god, I look so tired. We're going for lunch at one of my favorite restaurants, Places, on the Cat Don Tea, which is Hotel Eden Rock. It has the most beautiful view. This, by the way, is the best. Summer foundation you will ever get your hands on, Giorgio Armani Maestro Glow. I'm using the shade 6.5, and it's just like so easy. Gives you a glow, doesn't make you look sweaty. Is my screen fogging up? I can't really tell. I hope not. It looks like it is. Hold on. Can you see how messy my room is if I open my door a tiny bit? <laughs> I hope not. Let me just clean you. There we go. That's better. Now you can see me properly. Anyway, I'm just using my beauty blender to push this into my skin. Not sure what I'm gonna wear today, actually. I've basically worn everything I bought already, which is mad, because I've only been here for a week. And I bought two suitcases, and one of them was 32 kilos. Don't really know how I did that already, worn all my clothes. I think I've literally worn like every single swimsuit as well, so. <laughs> Ooh, okay, right, next. I'm also going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin to counteract my bags. By the way, has anyone tried the Naked Heat palette? Because I really need to get my hands on it and I keep thinking I'll go to Sephora in Cannes and get it. Will I ever love a concealer as much as I love the NARS Creamy Radiant? And do I really need to be wearing this much makeup when I'm, number one, going to sit by the pool, basically, and number two, I'm going to be in the heat, number three, I'm going to be wearing sunglasses. So don't really know what I'm doing, but you know one of those days where you just wake up and you're like, my face needs some makeup today, it needs some TLC. I really didn't need this much concealer either. Doing well today, guys. I am doing well. By the way, I'm almost done with this concealer, but it's like the best for spots. That's all I have left. It's the Clé de Peau concealer. I really need to get a new one. My cousins are coming next week. Maybe I'll ask them to bring one from the States for me. Okay, then I blend that in. Blend, 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 blend. The next thing I want to show you, if you buy one thing this month, it needs to be this. It's this It Cosmetics palette. Oh. So good, I'm not even sure what it's called. It's the Love Love Live palette, that's so sweet. It's a bronzer, blush, and highlight. The reason I love this is because I have never, 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 <laughs> how many times am I gonna say never? I've never loved a bronzer, blush, and highlighter palette where I love every single thing in the palette. Like either the bronzer is a bit this, or the blush is a bit that, or the highlight's a bit that. This, the bronzer, blush, and highlight is perfect. And they're now in the UK, in case you didn't know, so I'll link them down below. I think you can get it on. Selfridges, which is mega exciting because I remember being in LA like chasing it cosmetics trying to go to like all the different altars <laughs> to be able to get it cosmetics So yeah, look how nice that bronzer is now. I'm gonna use the blush Which is honestly my favorite shade of blush. It's like a pinky peachy sort of color. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move you. Okie dokes. That's better lighting now You can see how amazing the bronzer blush palette is I was getting kind of sad because you couldn't really see how good this palette looked I'm gonna use the highlight now. So now I'm wearing the bronzer and the blush already and I'm gonna put on the Live Highlight, which is so gorgeous. I mean, oh yes, so pretty. There we go. Now, oh guys, I'm obsessed with these cream eyeshadows. This is Memory, it's from the new Chanel collection. These Chanel cream eyeshadows are new, they are un- Real. Look how much I've used already. <laughs> Go see my blog post and you can see how much I've used since I wrote that blog post. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and you guys can see the amazing color. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It's literally me in a shade and it's such a day or night shade. And you can really build them up. Like that's a light layer, but you can like make it way more intense for nighttime if you wanted to. I'm gonna use my Benefit Gimme Brow on my eyebrows because 
They need a bit of staying in place. There's commotion going on outside, I can feel it. And I'm not ready. Today was not the day to do a 25 minute makeup routine, people. Everyone's like raring to go and I'm like, let me fix my face. I'm gonna do a bit of the bronzer as an eyeshadow in my crease. I always do this, by the way. I always use my bronzer as eyeshadow because it's so easy. How much more can I wait? They say I love to. I still have the songs from last night in my head. If you didn't see what we did last night, I'll link last night's vlog on the screen. I'm gonna do my Tom Ford liquid eyeliner pen. Mine's kind of running out. I'm so sad, but they literally last like three months. They're so good. My Kat Von D one that I love never lasted this long. What's the weirdest face that you pull? when you're doing eyeliner. There we go. Mm. Do I or do I not curl my lashes? Does anyone have a phobia kind of of curling their lashes? Because I don't have like a phobia, but I do feel like it's just pulling out my eyelashes. So when I don't need to curl them, I kind of don't. So I might not curl them. I'm gonna use my Chanel. Nope, this isn't Chanel, this is Clarins. Waterproof mascara. I need that waterproof life. I don't love this by itself, but I love it when paired with the Dior Pump and Volume, if you've guys seen my Instagram live. This was, oh, 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 oh. This was kind of like a random combination I found, and I literally love it. It was so good. You can't really tell when I haven't curled my lashes, but I'm not gonna curl them today. There we go. Wow. What would I do without mascara? The tree, it's like random mole. Sexy. Little bit of highlight under my brow bone. This is probably, should we guess what number lip cheat and pillow talk this is? I think this is over 30 that I've used because literally it was my like first product I loved from the brand, Charlotte Tilbury. I really overline my lips, by the way. People always ask when I use this if I've had my lips done. No, I just look, look like, look how big that looks now. I'm gonna use this Givenchy lipstick. It's one of my favorites. 106. It's basically how I wanted Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk to be because it matches so well with the lipstick, but I didn't actually like the Pillow Talk lipstick. Lastly, going to use my Glam Glow Glow Setter, which actually does give you a glow. It's honestly amazing. Now I need to decide what to wear. Okay, I know what I'm wearing. Put on clothes, even though you can't even see them. But look at these earrings. I just took off my earrings because I want to put these ones on. How fun are they? Dingle dingle. I absolutely love the colors of them. Yeah, look, look how cute they are. By the way, do you remember from my last vlog, I tried on those Chanel sunglasses I bought? I ended up returning them because I went to Chanel and they didn't tell me if they were fake or real. They said they just fake everything now, so they can't really tell unless they have the current stock, which they didn't. And so I returned them and I bought these instead, which I love. They're Dolce. They're so cute. They're kind of the style that I wanted, but with little flowers around the outside and they're a tiny bit bigger, so I think they actually suit me better. By the way, this is our ride. Isn't that the most hilarious car you've ever seen? It's not even a car, it's like a buggy. <laughs> so we're gonna roll up <laughs> in our buggy inside my bag I'm gonna show you what I have I literally have so much crap in this bag my Tom Ford but I walked downstairs and my grandma was like you wearing Tom Ford I was like how do you know she's like from your videos I'm wearing a really Portofino look how many lip products I have it's actually unheard of I have one two three four five five different lip products just to go for lunch send help <laughs> My mum's bought this hat in a box. How do you even fit that in your suitcase? It's so cute. And, and actually, this is... <laughs> having a bit of a nightmare over there. This is the best hat box I have ever, ever Really? Seen. Why can't they do yeah, more Yeah, but like, Em, like who takes this in their suitcase? Only someone well, we who brings had, three suitcases. We had a third suitcase. I know, so that you just put this hat in there and that was your third suitcase. Lols. Let's see it on you. I think you need to take your hair down if you want to put it in. It's so down. cute, yeah, because otherwise it looks like it's like popping off your head. Well, maybe I'll put my hair up. Actually, this is better. Yeah, that's cute. You need to bring it down more, though. She's too scared of flattening her hair. Humidity, though. It's so cute. Okay, let's go. You can't hurry, love. No, you just can't do it. Let's go. Love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. Look who rocked up on the paddle boards. My dad and my sister, that is beyond hilarious. They're literally rocking up to here to come into lunch. How funny is that? That is such good form, I can't even. Oh my, it's so choppy. 
How did they do that? Basically dropped Hannah and my dad off by the sea so that they can have like a half an hour paddleboard to lunch and they've literally rocked up down there on the paddleboard which is beyond hilarious. I don't think anyone's ever done that in this hotel or restaurant. Let's see. Anyway, I'm having a Caesar salad. Wild, wild time. Ciao, mama. You look so cute. You can eat your salad now. What a cute squirrel in her little hat. Look at the dessert options. Oh my gosh, they look unreal. Look, this one has hearts on it. Oh my god, this one has a daisy. They're so adorable. It's so windy, so we've kind of moved indoors. I don't think my dad or my sister can paddleboard that because there's so many white horses all across the sea. And we wouldn't even let anyone put the parasols up because they kept flying out of their like socket holder things and just like landing on people. I'm gonna show you guys the view of the hotel. You can't eat them. Oh, it's so windy. Everyone's always here taking their but how gorgeous. It's so beautiful here. So this is our ride <laughs> with the paddle boards on the top because it's too windy to paddle board that. Like being we have crazy six people in a four rock. person buggy with the paddle boards on top. <laughs> what is wrong with us? <laughs> I'm literally flying out. No, you just have to wait. She said love is a game of give and take. The police just passed us and didn't seem to know this. We don't know how that happened. is now time almost time for dinner this is our beautiful table set up and look at these flowers we actually bought them from a local the other day and they've lasted like over a week the most epic sunset is hopefully gonna happen soon oh look at that oh it's so beautiful i feel like this is the kind of light victoria secrets angels just like constantly have on them because it's so golden and beautiful anyway everyone is showering up getting ready for dinner but i am not changing yet i think we're gonna have a movie night as well after dinner have a nice chilled out evening. Dinner is served! Oh my gosh, I had a little taster of these today. They are honestly amazing. What are we calling these guys? Rice what? Fritters. Fritters situations. Then we have some aubergine. Oh What's under here? Oh my god, this is my gluten-free pasta. Yum. So good. I use the, um, I'll show you what gluten-free pasta I use in a sec. Hold on. And in here, we have some chicken skewers and then some roast potatoes, which are unreal. I love the burnt ones. And we also have a huge salad and guacamole this is the pasta brand by the way that i use when i'm away it's shah and it's basically made out of rice and corn the gluten-free one i personally can't digest like lentils and chickpeas and stuff like that so the rice and corn gluten-free stuff is always what i look out for what are you gonna have first em i'm gonna have the guacamole and then i'm having okay guy you have to try those because you'll really like them they're i think good. yeah they're really good the vibe is rice fritters you'll really like them i know my it's yummy, yummy, yummy. It looks so good. I'm so excited about this. That pasta looks so unreal. These are good. Aren't they amazing? Mm. So happy you like them. Little rice fritters. You You're eating them standing up. There's a table where you can sit down. You're like already on it. Where do you even get the fork from? I brought my fork with me. Did you? That's keen when you bring your fork to the buffet. Yeah. Sunset watch. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like I've just gone and rolled from like one meal to the next today. I think we're gonna have a movie night tonight. I'm not sure what film we're gonna watch, but I remember my dad saying it was set in the south of France, which is obviously where we are now, so it's very appropriate. Good morning. It is 8 a.m. Actually, it's a bit past 8. I think we're a bit late. We're going water skiing. My dad and my sister already left at like 10 to 8. I actually fell asleep watching the movie it was to catch a thief with grace kelly she's so pretty i really liked that film last night oh yeah Didn't it was you? great it was so nice One of the fantastic music. classics anyway going water skiing now basically this year I got thrown into water skiing by myself normally like at the start i always go with the teacher and then i use like the big rope that like helps you get up and then the day i started the teacher was gonna be like another like half an hour before she could go with me and then by that time it'd be quite choppy so i was like okay i'll just try and go by myself <laughs> and then i did then also the other day the big rope was on another boat so i was like okay i'll just try with the small normal rope and i did so i guess that's like probably the best way to learn something is just like get thrown into it and have no choice 
Break from the car to the boat. Ready to watch my sister. She's actually mono ski gold. She's so good. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping lights, paint the sky. How many things? Ooh, it is time to get breakfast for guys. And the best summer snack, fresh de bois. I'm doing my five minute journal in bed, which I love. I feel like recently, because I've been jumping out of bed to go water skiing, I haven't done it. And I notice a difference in myself when I don't do it. I just feel like I should be an ambassador for the five minute journal because I love it so much. It looks like this. I've talked about it for years, I think like two or three years. You basically do three questions in the morning and in the evening. And it basically says, I mean, we can do it together. Hold on, let me get my pen. I'll show you. It says at the top, I am grateful for, and then you say three things that you're grateful for i don't just say like the thing i like go into detail like do little arrows of like why i'm grateful for that thing or like if it's like a relationship with someone i'll put like little arrows and put like why i'm grateful for that relationship with the person for example one that i put in a lot to like get my brain into like positive vibes about this is like i right i'm grateful for my healthy body or for like my body healing so i'll put that and then i'll put like arrows and then i'll put like great digestion i feel like it sounds really lame but like that's the kind of thing that i do but i feel like it's important to know because i saw someone tweet being like i don't get the five minute journal thing and i feel like you really need to like dig deep when you do it otherwise if you just write like i'm grateful for this beautiful day or whatever you're not gonna get the benefit you know anyway and then i write what would make today great i stop myself from writing like three work related things because that's how i kind of like reward myself in my brain i guess instead of putting like productive day i'll put like productive day finish this accomplish this sign this contract or like stuff like that and then i'll put like something in the evening or something like personal and then daily affirmations that's the bit i always get in a rut actually because writing daily affirmations about yourself is kind of harder than you think it would be i just honestly get kind of awkward so like i put motivated balance comes up a lot because i'm that is the goal the goal is to be balanced well for me anyway what else do i write a lot of the time oh i write strong a lot i don't know why i feel like strong is like mentally strong and physically strong it's quite a thing for me to be both of those that's what i'm aiming for every day i guess anyway doing my five minute journal now and then i'm posting today's instagram video that was something i wrote about in my five minute journal i'm excited to post it because this is my third instagram video i think and i'm posting instagram videos now once a week i'm just excited to post that and see everyone's reaction oh my gosh guys i got this video of duke this morning and he's with i say his cousin it's not his cousin they look like brothers it's with tio look how cute they are they're literally in love on the floor oh my gosh that's tio looking up and that's duke with his paw in the air oh my gosh they're so cute I'm just enjoying my flat peach while watching the view. I'm obsessed with these peaches. They're so good. And it reminded me that this time last year was like the peak of when I started to understand what I needed to do to get rid of my illness, my SIBO. So I didn't have fruit. I basically could count on my hand like how much fruit I had the whole month I was here. So now this year I'm like making up for it and eating all the fruit because I just remember seeing everyone last year like eating fruit and I was like sad with my green bean. And it was also actually to help get rid of candida, not eating. Mm, so good by the way i bought this one piece dress from forever 21 last year and i love it so much it's honestly one of my favorite things i've ever 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 bought today i am wearing a mono earring which means one earring and i feel like i'm going to spend the whole day people being like oh you're missing an earring and i'll be like no no it's a mono earring because i've already done that like literally three times today but i think it's so nice does it look kind of weird and lopsided i can't decide anyway we are in Cannes today we are going to the party island of Ile Saint Marguerite for lunch it's actually really late lunch it's already 1 30. obviously I got the pink ice cream we are in my favorite ice cream shop it's called Quirly and it's on the closet in Cannes and chewing gum is like my favorite ice cream ever I can never resist chewing gum guy got kinder bueno and bueno or something kinder and kinder bueno we're gonna go to the pier to get the boat to Ile Saint Marguerite for lunch. Where's the lunch place we're going to called again? La Garite. La Garite. Have you been there before? I haven't. No, apparently it's really fun. Though. Apparently, I was watching on Insta stories yesterday. Like, I looked up the location. How do you do? Oh, you look up, you the, look location. up the location. And the Insta Good stories idea. come up from everyone there. And um, it looks How do we get to the pier? Do you know? We, I'm 
Bah, I guess we just crossed the road. Merci. Merci. Parfait. Merci. Ça va. Over there, and now this is the restaurant. There's the van. We have a question to voice to the group. When you get these food day situations, who eats the raw broccoli? Because you can't even cut it, and it ends up being like some awkward. Why do you just have two dead eggs in a front? You literally can't even cut it, and it's just a total disaster. So, if you're a broccoli eater, let us know. place is so much fun it was literally hilarious we were like one of the last ones to leave and guy has a flight in two hours and he's not at the airport yet so hopefully fingers crossed for him he makes it doesn't guy have all the best travel gear ever how cool is this bag i love it changed into the linen pants an hour and a half till takeoff are you gonna make it right you have an hour and a half you look way too zen for an hour and a half till flight i think i'm going to end the vlog here i got so many compliments on my glasses like even random people in the bathroom were like i love your sunglasses so much and actually my shoes as well which i haven't shown you hold on i'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day top by revolve shorts mink pink this is the worst outfit of the day ever and these cute shoes which are from loafer randall i'll link them below they're amazing anyway i'm gonna end the vlog now if you're not already following me on instagram i do a lot of updates on there so make sure to follow me at amelia liana and i will see you soon bye